So, most of us have been debating what was the reason why um, Brendan had decided to flip in cancel the UK tour. And I think we've got the reason now. Or the reason he's going to use as, as an excuse. We know the real reason. Obviously, he didn't sell enough tickets because he, for some reason, overestimated his pull and reach over here in the UK. Um, for somebody who can't sell out Comedy Store La Jolla, which is like, what, what, what's the capacity of that place? Let me actually check this. Comedy Store La Jolla capacity. I'm assuming it's something like 500 capacity. But if you can't sell that out on a weekend, 450. He can't sell out the Comedy Store La Jolla. <coughs> but for some reason, sorry, he was coming to the UK and trying to do theatres here. It made no real sense to me, in my opinion. So clearly he overestimated his fucking reach and he's poor. So that's why he's cancelled his fucking shows. But he would let you believe that he cancelled them because, you know, he was wanting to spend time with the family, allegedly. But we know the real reason. And now we've got an actual real reason why. Or the, no, but now we've got the reason he's going to use as an excuse. And I think it's to do with this news, courtesy of his wife's account on Instagram, and she recently posted, not the fucking other pictures post there, but this post here, that is announcing that Brendan is going to have another kid, he's got another kid in the way, he's going to have a daughter, it looks like, by the looks of it. So apart from that face, get her off there, because he's got his kids on there, but this is what they she posted on her Instagram account. Uh, a little baby, a little, I guess a pink Birkin, a purple Balenciaga bag, a pink Chanel bag, a Fendi jumper for a little girl, and then the ultrasound, look in there so the caption let's read the caption for sure this is going to be the reason why he's going to use for why he cancelled the show so to, to, this is from brendan Schultz's wife he says to say this journey has been easy is not the case the healing that had to happen from the miscarriage i had in 2021 was the hardest part but here we are this is actually the time remember that said there was that funny meme that went around where i think this miscarriage happened and i think for some reason, Brennan was on tour, but he didn't go back home to go and like comfort her and stuff. So she was just posting stuff on her own, going to the clinic. I don't know what you do when you get a miscarriage, if you go to a clinic or hospital, but she was just doing it on her own. And, and, and then on the opposite, you know, on the flip side, Brendan was out with the boys on a comedy tour. Um, and then he was, I think, in some Airbnb and then in some jacuzzi with like Chin and like Chappelle and his brother and shit. It was like the fucking optics of it were terrible. Um, but anyway, let's continue. Um, this is here. Uh, my baby girl is finally coming. These boys are not ready. Uh, I, and I can't wait to see how finally they will be one more girl in our household. Words cannot describe how happy I am to finally say I will have a daughter soon. Now, baby girl, if you could please ease up on me and stop making me throw up every day. Mommy really appreciate it. Baby Shaw, number three, coming December 2023 she's announcing it like it's a new pair of jordans or something <laughs> dropping december 2023 anyway um this is definitely the reason why he's not um doing the uk tour he's going to use this as an excuse um it's obviously not the reason because he didn't sell enough tickets but for sure he's going to use it as another excuse and he's going to hide behind the kid coming as a human flipping meat shield which is you know diabolical in itself but it kind of is what it is the interesting thing for me is this. I wonder what kind of, because my brain doesn't work that way. Like, I think if I'm like going through tough times, I'm just kind of like trying to pare back my expenses. I'm trying to focus on what I need to do to kind of get over the line. I'm figuring out other, mo other kind of avenues to make some money, some extra kind of revenue streams. The last thing I'm thinking about is like ex more expenditure. But for some reason... It doesn't work this way in these guys' heads. Like, I, I think of it from a Showtime thing. Brendan got fired from Showtime, allegedly, right? Let's see if I can actually get it up on here. Uh, Brendan Shaw Ferrari, right? So he gets fired from fucking Showtime. And then the first thing he goes and does is buy a Ferrari. Like, it's something I don't understand either. But I think some people have that kind of thing in their head where you want to, like prove that you're okay so you do stuff like this so after the whole showtime thing happens and because you know let's not let's not you know be around the bush like the showtime not renewing his deal was a big deal i think so because i'd imagine that showtime check was paying for a lot of stuff in those 
you know, thick boy headquarters or whatever it may be. It went a long way. So then that goes away. And then to kind of show that you're okay and that you bounce back from it, the first thing you do is you buy a Ferrari and you just do this whole thing. You make a vlog about it. You're posting pictures. It just seems like an odd thing to do when you're trying to kind of like get back on the up and up. You know, it doesn't make any sense. Even though he had a red one here before, that might have been leased before, but it seems like a strange thing to do, right? To kind of go and get a Ferrari after you've just got, you know, maybe let go from a really good job that was allowing you the possibility to kind of do extra new things or whatnot we need to do. And the same thing goes for this baby coming up. You'd imagine, like, his career isn't where it probably needs to be um, or probably where it was before. And it's definitely on a downward trajectory. There's a lot of things that need to be done to kind of make that go back to where it needs to be. And then the first thing that's coming out here is a kid. It's like, it's weird. But it also maybe explains why why um you know this relationship is the way it is and i think i said before to you guys i think in a stream that i don't really like all the kind of ops that people do in terms of like sending this wife like you know messages and clips of what brendan said and trying to prove that he cheats and stuff i don't think that matters because i personally have always said i think my hypothesis from looking from afar is that they have a somewhat not so silent agreement that he can kind of do what he wants, Brendan on the road, just don't bring that shit back home and embarrass me. And she can kind of do what she wants. Or if he does embarrass her, then that's when the all expense paid trips happen and all the other stuff happen in terms of going to Las Vegas and getting gifts and shit. But in general, I think this is the relationship that they, they always have. So if that's the case, um, this also proves that during the whole time that whole people were like, you know, trying to, you know, break them up they were trying for a baby in some way, shape or form. That whole entire time that that shit was happening, they were clearly having this stuff in planned in the works. So there was never any chance that she was going to go away any, anywhere soon. And also on the back of that, just look at the stuff on here. Like clearly this lady's got very expensive taste and she doesn't work, right? Uh, from what we know, she doesn't really have a job. She kind of seems like a stay at home mum. If that's the case, then she's got no onus to leave really because you know brendan's basically paying her way looking after the family um doing what he does look you know being the provider and shit in her position with two kids and stuff living in la why would you leave the guy even if you get half like half's not going to last you long you don't really have any career to speak of because you've been out of work for so long i'd imagine it'd be hard to kind of get on that wagon unless you decide to do like i don't know something like only fans which i'm sure she probably wouldn't do but i don't know I, I never thought there was any possibility that they'll break up in any way, shape or form because I think they are quite well suited to each other. Um, and be based on the picture here and based on this picture here also, they clearly are suited to each other. And that's where it kind of, it comes, it, and another thing we're to make actually, last point on this is that that's why this sort of stuff becomes a bit hard not to speak about because as much as I don't like showing this sort of stuff on here, because I feel like Brendan gives us enough material to kind of rib on and to kind of tease and stuff. You don't need to kind of look into his family and whatnot. But, you know, they, they kind of act like they're, you know, that they're a fucking celebrity couple or some shit. So if that's the case and you want to be a public figure and, you know, you're verified and all this malarkey, then maybe it's, you know, it's within reason that people can talk about you online and shit. It's something that I wouldn't want, personally, if I had a partner. I'd kind of want them, unless they want to be involved, I'd want to be pushing them as far away as possible from it, personally. Um, but I wouldn't be putting them out there like this on front street, especially if I'm Brendan. The amount of stick that Brendan gets is probably quite irresponsible in some shape. In some forms, you could say it's irresponsible to kind of have your kids front and center like this, parading around and stuff. It's just a bit odd for me, personally. Um, not the biggest fan of it but one thing for sure one thing's for sure this kid's definitely going to be called some location um, maybe Paris uh, I can't think of I don't know Cancun like some some sort of location this kid's not going to have like a regular name I don't think so the other two kids already have like destination kind of like funky names I'm sure this kid's going to have I don't know what it's going to be called like uh I don't know, mushroom. I don't know. I don't know. I just got a feeling this kid's going to be called something. Like something, something for real. Something for real, like um, Guadalajara. I don't know. Guadi or something like, for sure. See, as people are saying, I don't think Guadalajara. Lahara or something. You know what I mean? Lahara, Yahira. Um, oh, actually, Yahira's that will get off from No Jumper, in it? I think so, yeah. 
I can imagine that's going to be probably the name, but what a way to announce your pregnancy, isn't it? Right? No pictures of the mum's belly or anything, nothing of that sort, just pictures of like designer handbags and a little designer jumper for the baby that they're going to grow out of in fucking two days. It's pretty interesting. <laughs> yeah, Marty Moose, Calabasas. Yeah, exactly. I can imagine yeah. Hidden Heels or so. I don't know. Or HH or HE or something. I don't know. I could definitely see that happening sometime soon. But I personally think if I was Brendan, I would have kept this kind of stuff to myself. But I guess, you know, it is what it is. You kind of have to do what your wife told you to do. Um, but I also think if you're, if you're looking for a reason why Brendan is probably going to cancel, why Brendan's going to say he canceled the fucking, you know, the UK tour, this is it. This is what he's going to use as a reason. He's going to say cancel the UK tour because um, he's having a kid. Even though he would have not cancelled it if he would have sold tickets, clearly. But, you know, this is the lie that he's going to tell everybody. I'm sure he's going to use his kid as a fucking shield. I'm pretty sure of it. But congratulations to them anyway. Um, happy, I think, birth. Or have, have, what do you call it? Do you call it something like a birth? Hope it goes all well and stuff and swimmingly and whatnot. Um, I'm not too sure if that's like, aren't you meant to like announce it like later? Isn't it like bad luck to announce it so soon? I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's, am I bugging out? I'm not really too sure, but there is some sort of like thing where you're not meant to announce it like super soon. You're meant to kind of keep it yourself for a while, but 